What have you got for me? Give me it. Better get out of here before more people show up. Angry folk. Cut through. Come on. Come on. Wait, what's that? Something. Can I see that blip on the map? Oh, I'm just going crazy. No, right there. I'm not going crazy. What is this? Wild. Survival's challenge? What? Obliged. It doesn't matter where the train is. Ooh. That's sweet. The MacFarlane Ranch. Go. We got a night duty to do. This dog. You're not the same dude from before. Man, Charlie takes forever. I guess there really is no humane way of uh, taking these guys down, just shoot them in the back. <laughs> nice. Better save my game, I haven't done that in a while. Fame plus five. Give me some ammo.
I wonder if there's anything I can do for Bonnie real quick. Bonnie. How are you? This is Armadillo USA. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the reins, Mr. Marston. Get back. No. What exactly are you waiting for? Easy Let's go. there. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I oh. have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Still don't understand why she rescued me. That's okay. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. The kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. Cha! Come on. I wonder if I can shoot the bird. How well do you know New Austin? I don't. We've talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country. Where the old ways still hold true. You do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. You do a man right? Well, he still may shoot you for it. <laughs> So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Meet me at the ice cream shop. I'll buy you an ice cream. Bye, Madison. How would Armadillo get by? Howdy, friend. I got stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Ooh. Thanks a lot. All right, Miss Bonnie. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Stagecoach? Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. This is a quick travel stagecoach. 
That horse looks like it's on steroids. Oh man. Would have been nice to know earlier. Upstairs. Question is, I'll have to politely decline this time, ma'am. How much? Purchased. Hello. Hello there. Sheriff. Uh, let's take the stagecoach back to Bonnet. Oh, he's still, uh, Right, a shotgun with the shotgun. Where you headed? Give me the Oh no, man, it costs money. Just ride out further and then take a camp. I'm just going to have a rest. Here we are. Next mission. Mr. Marston. I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. 
My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs>